A very hearty good morning to one and all present here. It's a great privilege for us that we are celebrating our 73rd Republic Day. First of all, I would like to wish everyone Happy Republic Day. In this pandemic situation, keeping all the protocols in our mind, we have arranged a very short program with the teachers of St. Stephen School, Kagdev. Now, before going on to the program, I would like to call our Shornali ma'am. Please start up with opening prayer. Almighty God, creator of the universe, thank you for your steadfast love. We pray for your presence in our midst. As we gather here to celebrate 73rd Republic Day, you place us. In this COVID situation, you heal your land. Your peace be upon us. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and now I will request uh, Sushmita ma'am to come forward for scripture reading. Thank you, sir. The chapter 2 Corinthians taken, verse 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, I would like to go on our program by doing our flag hoisting. So, I would like to request our Vice Principal, sir, Mr. Sujit Roy, Please come for the flag hoisting ceremony.
I would like to request our vice principal sir please come and deliver your precious message yes, thank you very much uh, we know that it's a great day for all of us and but the thing is this we should feel the importance of it actually otherwise it's of no use as we know the history that in uh, 1947, 15th August, we got our independence, and then in 1950, on this very day, our constitution was adopted. Then, the King Sixth George was the king in England, and in India, uh, Mountbatten was the general go governor of general, and now. The question is, during this period, means from 1947 and to 1950, till this constitution was, constitution was adopted, how was India ruled? What act was being followed? And during this time, that act of government of India, which was being adopted in 1945, it was being you know, India was under that rule during this time. And the next question is why on 26th and not any other day? And again, we should go back to our history that in 1930, 26th January, the then National Congress had declared total Swaraj on this very day. And to keep it, you know, uh, you know alive, I mean, in the history, we had. No, I mean, they have gone had actually uh, decided this day. And we know that in 1947, there was a committee formed, you know, with 308 members headed by Dr. Ambedkar, and they had completed uh, this constitution by 24th November uh, 1949. And it was after that adopted. Our constitution is actually have 24 parts and 448 sections. And if we in English actually it is you know, if we just count it, then we have around 1,17,369 words. It's okay. Everything is all right. Fine. It's been written. The uh, biggest constitution. Uh, in all the sovereign countries of you know in the world but the thing is this that this constitution gives us many you know rights like the justice and the equality and then brotherhood then freedom of speech and freedom of faith the thing is this today i think we should again renew ourselves and and you know take an oath that we should follow this, we should implement all these things in our personal life. Otherwise, it is of no use. I mean, it remains in the book and it becomes invalid, actually. So, nowadays, what we have, we are seeing that a great restlessness and, you know, intolerance going on. And in that particular situation, we should, mainly the teachers, so we should be aware of it 
and we try our best to implement all these things in our day-to-day -day life. Then only it will be successful. So thank you very much. I don't like to prolong it. So we should remember that all that, whatever that given in the constitution, we should try to practice in our life that much only. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your important message, sir. We came to know many things. Now, I would like to request our teachers. We have arranged only a group song. And children, obviously, we are missing you. If, we, if you would have been here, the program would have been for one or two hours. It's a very sad thing that in this pandemic, we are missing our children. But on behalf of St. Stephen School, Kagdip teachers, we have arranged only this much program. And we have come to almost come to the end of the program. So before going to the end, I would like to request our teachers to for the group song. even only yesterday we had the meeting and decided and all of you just came forward and with your cooperation and only it was being possible to you know, celebrate it such a I and mean, observe it in so grandly and I thank all of you personally. Uh, so let us 
Jag har hört sen. Thank you. Those are nice. Heavenly Christmas Father. Thank you very much for all this great day and this great morning that within this pandemic situation you have kept us all safe and helped us to observe this great day our republic day i thank you lord for keeping you know taking care of us as all of us will be going back again help us to reach safely at home i pray to you lord help us to remove this crisis from our country so that we can get back our children once again and we can have full of life in the school and our life at the same time thank you very much and thank you so much sir thank you so much teachers whoever we are we have come here to today as sir has given the vote of thanks also along with the closing prayer so now again happy republic day to everyone goodbye thank you